For the June exhibit here at the Clayton Center, we have two shows. We have collage artwork from a class taught at the Clayton Center for Active Aging. This was taught by Carolyn Howard. We also have the Paint the Town contest. This is a painting contest um, where painters featured people, places, and things around Clayton. We have 12 artists who've entered and 19 works were submitted. Let's go hear Jody McLeod announce the winners. On behalf of the town of Clayton, thank you, sir. Uh, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. Thank you for allowing me to serve as the mayor for the town of Clayton. Uh, a great big thank you to Clayton Visual Arts for once again just you know taking the ball and running with it and doing such a phenomenal job with what's going on here today. Um, the theme this year for Paint the Town competition was Clayton, people, places, and things. There were 20 paintings submitted in this collection by 13 artists and nine of those artists were from Clayton. We had a team of powerful, knowledgeable judges. Let me read the list. First of all, good looking. <laughs> Beginning with Mayor Jody McLeod. How about that? <laughs> Perfect timing, Butch. We also had Mayor Pro Tem Michael Granis, uh, Councilman Art Holder, Councilman Butch Lauder, Councilman Bob Satterfield, Councilman Jason Thompson, our town manager, Steve Biggs, we also had uh, Scotty Henley from the Clayton Center. He's our executive director, of course. And unfortunately, Lynn Austin was a little under the weather, so she wasn't able to uh, join us on behalf of the Clayton Cultural Arts Foundation. Um, just to give you a little bit of uh, some comments, there were at least two judges, Michael and Butch, who said these were tough choices. And I couldn't agree with you guys more. You know, I think Butch and I came out of the council meeting Monday night and went and grabbed our sheet and got started. We were, thought, we were thinking this is gonna be a quick five minutes and boy did it stop everybody in their tracks and just slowed the process down. And I'm telling you, when you do that crowd like that, you have accomplished something. Uh, one judge, Michael, said that the painting he chose first, Fiddler's Friends, captured the family environment of our town and our community. Um, and also the 2015 Paint the Town competition takes place, uh, takes the place of the poster contest, which we have been doing for previous years. But however, the Clayton Visual Arts plans to have another poster print made of the winning works and it will become part of the poster series. The winner uh, is the ninth in the series. So this is our ninth year, which is fantastic. So I think we should give our friends at CVA a nice round of applause because that's been what made it happen. Last year's winner in 2013 was Don Stevenson's uh, Think, uh, Think Greenways, Think Clayton. All right, so without further ado, this year's honorable mention and a $50 prize goes to Sundown Time by Lisa T. Bailey of Clayton for her mixed medium collage. Awesome, so come here. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, and we're gonna to talk to the camera a little bit. So um, we're here with this year's uh, honorable mention winner, Lisa Bailey of Clayton. And Lisa, we want you to just tell us a little bit about your work and what inspired you on this project. Well, I was actually inspired by all the beautiful sunsets we have in Clayton because we have gorgeous, gorgeous sunsets. So I was trying to find something to look at the sunset through and ended up with park equipment because it has very graphic um, markings on it and, and graphic design. And so viewing a sunset through the park, which would be a downtime and talking about sundown and then the downtime. That was perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're you. wonderful. Lisa Bailey, everyone. Our third place winner uh, and the winner of a $100 award goes to Main Street USA by Ryan Fox of Raleigh. Uh, his is a poured watercolor. Is Ryan here? Okay, that's okay. Congratulations, Ryan. Our second place winner and the winner of a $150 award goes to Clayton Main Street by Tesh Parekh of Raleigh. Is Tesh here? Congratulations to Tesh. Oh, that's wonderful. You come on down. Was that Ryan or? That's um, second place. Awesome. 
Congratulations on behalf of the town of Clayton. I'll give you the honor of presenting this to your dad. How's that? Awesome. Yeah. Let's do it like this so everybody can see what it is. Look, now you hold. Now you hold it. All right, cool. Are you going to be an artist one day? Yes. Absolutely. Congratulations. And this year's winner, first place in a $700 award, goes to Fiddler Friends by Amy T. Oh, I'm going to slaughter this, but I'm giving it my best shot. Beshkatorian of Raleigh. Wonderful. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about your inspiration. Um, I, I had planned th three paintings and that was not one of them and it just came to me last week that that's what I needed to paint because I knew public art was huge and I loved the Fiddler Frog and I knew a lot of other people did and I also it's been on my mind for a while that um, with a lot of our Clayton publicity we don't have the entire population of Clayton represented so I um, I just hung around for a little while around the library and was looking up and down the street and saw a family walking by and asked them to pose and, wow. and that was it. I tried to get them to come tonight, but um, they weren't able to make it, but hopefully they'll be able to come and see it. Well, now they're famous and so they're going to be on hanging in the wall of Town Hall Clayton <laughs> for a very, very long time. Amy, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. That's great. Yes, she is our CVA president as well, a winner and CVA president. And thank you so much for your leadership to all, you, to all of you, for all that you do to support the arts. You know, it's finally catching on that, or, that the arts is a new form of economy. And of course, we knew that in Clayton a decade ago, but now the rest of the state is catching up with us. But um, the reason that we are so successful in Clayton is because of all the good people that make it happen. All of you teachers, all of you students, and all of us wannabes, some of us wannabes wish we could paint, but unfortunately we can't. So we share our time and talent in leading government. So thank you again to both of you and the rest of the town council for participating this year. It was great to have you be a part of this. All right. I'm here with Carolyn Howard, and Carolyn recently taught a class with the Clayton Center for Active Aging on collage. Um, Carolyn, um, about how long did this class run? Can you tell us more about it? It was a six-week class, two hours each session, and it was on a Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 8.30, and we had eight students. I have three represented here with their collages, two a piece, so that gives us six collages. Every one of them create, created either two or three collages and loved it and did very well. Um, when we first met, I hadn't met some of them. They came with fear and trembling, like I don't know what I'm doing here, but um, collage is very free and non-threatening, so they had a good time. Will you explain to us a little more about exactly what the process is? Well, we use canvas boards, not stretched, but boards because of the support. Um, and the, the glue that we use, um, I either use two, two different kinds. One is a Elmer's, two-thirds Elmer's and one-third water, distilled water, or matte medium to glue everything down. And uh, for things that are heavier, we have to use super glue. You know, anything that's really going to hold it. And they have small frames on them, which set them off, and of course we wanted to hang them as well. Now, where did they get their images from? I just told them to come prepared with whatever they wanted their collage to be about. Okay. And one is the beach, you know, themed. And uh, one is just uh, 
celebration, and I don't remember all of them, but but they had a good time and they were glad they did it. Now we have we're featuring um, artwork from three of your students. We have um, yes. Kay DeHassen, Mary Lou McKenzie, and Barbara Nangle. How many students did you have total? We had uh, six, eight sign up and. One couldn't complete this course, you know, she fell and had, her, had a bad injury. Um, another one had a family emergency, so she couldn't complete the course either. But the others who did, um, and maybe we can include the ones who couldn't do it this time in another exhibit, because I plan to do that collage class again. Okay. Yeah. If their interest is there, right. And now, um, Carolyn teaches lots of, well, she's taught art classes her whole life, um, and been an artist her whole life, yeah. and Carolyn's also going to be doing more classes in her home studio this summer. Would you like to tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that? Yes, I'm offering art camps for uh, youth and even adults, and I probably will have a Saturday morning class um, every other week during the summer. Uh, the, I just put it online and sent emails and registration forms and I have um, several who have contacted me and I offer the weeks and they choose the ones that work for them. And Carolyn can teach just about any type of visual art, not just collage, but um, back to collage, you recently um, got membership with the oh, National? Yes. I joined the National Collage Society about two, two and a half years ago. Um, they have two national jury shows. One is a very large show for larger work, and then a recent one that they held was postcard size collage. And it was, they were very specific and, and their instructions very strict. And a uh, fix mine sent it in, and um, I was notified that I was juried in. Um, out of, I don't know, they, they, it's a national, but an international as well. So they must have members all over the world. When I look at the, um, the artists who are members, I see some other countries. So um, it's a wonderful, you know, experience to be involved in that. Because I love collage, as I said, is non-threatening. And it can be about anything. That's the fun part. Any subject you want, you know? Sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, Carolyn recently taught a class, um, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain mm -hmm. by Betty Edwards. Mm -hmm. And I've participated in that and I'm amazed at how much it's helped my drawing and Carolyn will probably be offering that again well, also. Well, that was a, a fundraiser for the CBA, Clayton Visual Arts. And I would like to offer it probably in the fall because I had at least four people who contacted me, we had it online, and um, they looked at their schedule and couldn't fit it in for this spring. So I said something about the fall, and they said let them know. So, and I had um, 10 students in the class, and that's a good number. Mm -hmm. So we'll do it again, probably. Now how could people contact you to learn about your classes? Well, through the CBA, or um, I have an email, gchoward52 at embarkmail.com. Um, that's another way. Uh, my phone number is 333-919-333-9094. Okay, great. That's it. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. July's exhibit will feature photography from photographer Benita Van Winkle. Um, she has a show called um, hometown theaters and it's going to fill the entire gallery. I've taken a peek online and it's going to be a lot of fun for everyone. The Meet the Artist reception date is July 9th. I hope you'll join us.